Welcome back everyone to session six of Nourishing Change presented to you by Oregon Pacific Area Health Education Center. We are a hosted agency of Samaritan Lebanon Community Hospital and our grant is funded by the Oregon Community Foundation. We're so excited to have you here for our final session of Nourishing Change. My name is Jamie, Office Specialist, and today we have with us Janie, who is an OSU Dietetics and Nutrition student, along with Bridget Brooks, who is also an Oregon State University Dietetics and Nutrition student. We hope you enjoy. Here we go. Hi everyone, I'm Bridget. Today we're going to be making some taco stuffed peppers. So I already have my quinoa cooked just to save a little time. You of course are more than welcome to sub this out for brown rice. And as a bonus, since we are using black beans, uh, black beans and rice are actually complementary proteins, so you do get a complete protein that way. But we're using quinoa, which is already a protein, so got it in the bag. So right now I'm gonna dice half of an onion. And you can save the other half for another recipe. Maybe toss it in a salad, whatever you choose. So for this portion, I would definitely recommend parents. You should definitely do the cutting for this one, but I promise there will be plenty of time for the kids to get involved later. All right, so by the end of you chopping your onion, it should look a little something like this. Um, I put a wet paper towel down because my eyes are starting to water. I'm convinced that this kind of helps prevent that. I think it worked, but find out for yourself, let me know. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I have a pan that I've been heating on the stove and I'm just going to add some oil to it. Perfect. <laughs> and then next up I'm going to add my freshly diced onion. Listen to that sizzle, watch me toss it on the ground there. Perfect. And we're just gonna oh. saute this until it's a little translucent. Something I like to do when I'm cooking onion is I just add a tiny bit of salt. This kind of helps get some of the juices out and it helps it cook a little faster. It also gives it a little more flavor. And you just need a little bit. Of course, that's totally optional. All right, so we're just about there. If you're cooking with the hamburger meat, I would go ahead and toss it in the pan now. Um, the other thing is, is let's say you're having some people over for dinner and if someone's a vegetarian, you could also do this vegetarian and then with the other half of your onion, you could start making your ground meat and have vegetarian and meat. Just some options there. All right, so I'm gonna turn down my heat to low and I'm gonna add my diced tomatoes just right into the pan. Okay. And then next up, I'm gonna take my rinsed beans we're gonna toss those in. Perfect. We're just gonna mix that up. Perfect. And then next up, we're gonna add our quinoa, which we cooked. And you're just gonna cook this according to the package. Um, we need a little extra. <laughs> A little grainy. A little bit. Now, if you're my no onion family, please, please, please omit the onions. Um, you can always set it out for some garlic. Um, and then, whoops, make sure you throw it on the floor in between the fridge <laughs> and the stove so it's really hard to clean up later. That's, that's key here. All right, so it's getting a little dry. So I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of water which I'm just using this one. Um, I did provide a recipe if you wanted to make your own. It does involve, oh yeah, get it all over the stove top too. <laughs> it does involve onion, um, but you can totally sub it for garlic. Um, you can really just make it your own. If you wanna make it spicy, you could add like some more chili, um, cayenne, really just get creative. But you're gonna carefully mix this. You don't wanna mash the beans. 
Probably should have used a bigger pan, but we're already here. And your goal is to just get this mix so it looks pretty uniform. So this is what we're gonna be stuffing the peppers with. All right, so now I have a selection of peppers. And this is a great time for you to ask your kids, you know, what color do you want? Um, I'm going to cook the red and the yellow, regardless of what my camera person wants. Sorry, Jay. <laughs> I like red. Perfect. <laughs> and so you could have your kids do this part, but they're just gonna cut the pepper in half. Try to make it as clean as possible because this is gonna be kind of like a bowl that you're stuffing. Oh, perfect. Again. And then I just have a greased, um, I don't really know what you call this. Pan. Pan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know what, I don't know what size it is. Yeah. Okay. Now this is probably my least favorite part because you have to very carefully get the seed pod out without disturbing this little bowl. So parents, I would definitely make this a you job because I'm a little nervous for myself right now. <laughs> I'm so I'm just gonna kind of wiggle this out. Perfect. Awesome. And then I'm just gonna take my spoon and kind of get rid of this little vein here. Ew, I don't like that there's a vein. Peppers <laughs> <laughs> don't have veins, you guys, don't. <laughs> they do, she's lying. <laughs> And this is just to make more room for my filling. Perfect, that looks good. Just gonna pop it in there. And you might need to shorten the stem just so that way it fits a little nicer. There we go. And this one too. Okay, and then you're just gonna do the same thing to all of your pepper halves. All right, so I have my peppers laid out. And now I'm just gonna spoon some of my mixture in there. Oops. That was loud. <laughs> All right, and you're just gonna carefully spoon this in. And again, if you're using the hamburger, I would mix a little bit in here, of course, and maybe use less quinoa. If you're trying to do half and half, you of course can mix it in like a small mug so that way you're not throwing the meat all in there. Yummy. This one's not wanting to stay up. <laughs> So I just stuffed my peppers. They should look a little something like this. Um, we're just gonna try and make sure that they stay upright. So you might have to kind of readjust some in the pan. Ooh, whoa, that almost ended badly. Uh, all right, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. So next up, I'm gonna toss these in the oven for 45 minutes. And we'll come okay. right. So these have been cooking for about 45 minutes. I'm just gonna pop these out. Looking pretty good. Mm. So I'm gonna shut off my oven. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some cheese on top because all the people here want cheese on them. Um, you can, of course, skip this step. Yummy. All right, and next up, I'm just gonna put these in my oven. I did turn it off, but it's gonna still be warm. And this is just to melt the cheese. So our cheese is nice and melted. I would recommend serving these in bowls because they are gonna expand once you cut them open. We're just gonna carefully put this on our plate. <laughs> you got it. There Ooh, we go. Beautiful. Next up, I'm gonna go and add some toppings. So remember, these are taco stuffed peppers. So this is a great time for your kids to really decide, hmm, do I want that? Uh, I'm gonna top mine with some cilantro. I'm gonna spice it up with a little hot sauce. And I'm going to add some avocado to mine, so I can get the avocado. <laughs> All right, I'm going to add a little bit of sour cream, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Beautiful. And some salsa. I, I'm very much an all or nothing kind of gal. Same. 
And last, I'm going to add just a little bit of lettuce. Makes it a little less pretty, but add some crunch. And there you go, taco stuffed peppers. Yum.